Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode 2 of my top 10 series. So in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys my top 10 most worn or my most kind of favourite items within my wardrobe. Mainly most worn, a little bit of most favourite. I'm sure you can get the gist. This video is a collaboration with my lovely friend, Emily Norris. I'm sure you guys know exactly who Emily Norris is. I've done a few collaborations with her before. She's an online friend and a friend in real life as well. She's a mum of three gorgeous boys and makes fabulous videos over on her channel, mainly parenting, cleaning, lots of hack videos, vlogs, those kind of videos. And today she's doing her top 10 items from her wardrobe as well. So when you've watched this video, make sure you head over over, watch her video and subscribe while you're over there and leave her a comment to let her know you came from my channel. So if you are new to my channel then my name is Lucy, I'm a mum of four, I have twin girls that are four months old and then I have Jensen, he is six and Jessie and he is three. I live in the south of the UK with my husband Jordan who is currently looking after all four children so you may hear some stuff in the background okay that's why this is going to be in no particular order every item that i'm showing you and everything that i wear loads and loads i love them all i don't particularly love one item more than the other um so it's all very equal so let's start off with shorts now obviously okay we are in a funny fashion period at the moment where most people are just wearing loungewear including me so whilst I'm going to try and be kind of universal, I do want to stick to more seasonal items such as what I'm wearing this season, but as I am mostly wearing loungewear, a lot of it is loungewear. I do have some other items obviously as well, but I thought it'd be fun if I did recreate this video every season to show you guys my top picks from like autumn, winter, um, high summer. So it's definitely something I'm going to keep doing. So yeah, today's video may be a little bit different to the other top 10 fashion videos I do just because of the current world we are living in. So comfortable shorts. I got these shorts a few days ago from Topshop. I do work in partnership with Topshop but this video is not part of our partnership. So I got these shorts a few days ago and oh my goodness they are so comfortable. So they're basically the short version of the joggers I love which you will see coming up. So yeah grey mile, really really comfortable. I did size up just because I thought you know I don't want them to be too tight and you can adjust the waist with the drawstring so I would personally say to size up then adjust the waist so I'm usually a size 10 but I did get these in a 12. Really comfortable, really easy to throw on most importantly. You can pair the shorts with t-shirts or bodysuits. I just wanted to show you a few variations of the shorts as well. So they also come in a really nice blush pink, they come in a few different colours actually as well. I think they do a yellow, a blue, everything will be linked in the description box, I can't remember off the top of my head the exact colours, but some really lovely colours and not only that but also very reasonably priced. They were on offer when I bought them so they were, I think they were around £12 but Topshop seemed to have a constant sale on at the moment. So highly recommend these soft shorts. I also wanted to show you these as well, so still within the shorts category. These are really comfortable, again from Topshop, so my denim shorts from last year didn't fit. Um, I got pregnant exactly this time a year ago so I don't think I bought any denim shorts, maybe I did but um, they didn't. They don't fit me, okay, they're too small. <laughs> they do fit, they'll do up but they just don't look great so I needed to get a new pair and I got these from Topshop again. I like these because they're not like mega short, they're still a really nice length, like they're not too long but they're not mega short so you're not showing off a massive amount that you might not want to but they still look really nice they're a lovely washed denim and they're really comfortable so a win-win for me i love wearing denim shorts in the spring and summer i probably will buy some other ones as well or maybe try and fit into my old ones in a few weeks i don't know we'll see but yeah i really like these ones i couldn't make a video about my most worn items in the wardrobe without including top shop jeans these are the top shop premium mum jeans. Before I fell pregnant my favourite Topshop jeans were the mum jeans and the straight jeans. I still really like those jeans, I can just about fit into them but I got this new pair of premium mum jeans and these are by far now my favourite. Not only because I find them the most comfortable, the fabric is that little bit thinner so when I'm wearing them around the house with the kids, I don't wear them around the house at the moment but I mean like if I've been out then I come home. <laughs> 
they're a lot more comfortable than the Topshop mum jeans and the Topshop straight jeans. That doesn't take away my love for the Topshop mum jeans or the straight jeans because I still love them and I would 100% still wear them. I just haven't had the opportunity to yet. But these are definitely my favourite. Just because I think the fit is great and they're really comfortable so win-win for me they're slightly more fitted than the mum jean i'm not sure if that's because i've put on a bit of weight obviously after having the twins i'm a stone heavier than what i was pre-pregnancy so that probably makes the top shop mum jeans a bit tighter if you know what i mean so here you can see the bottom and you can see the fit so a really really lovely pair of jeans top shop is always my go-to for jeans, a lot of my go-to items in my wardrobe are actually from Topshop, so um, yeah. So, so far we've had shorts, jeans, and now I wanna talk about bodysuits. This is the grey bodysuit I was wearing when I was talking about the shorts. It's a ribbed bodysuit. Ribbed are my favorite type of bodysuit. This one isn't ribbed. I have ribbed bodysuits in most colors, black, white, pink, like a real dusky pink and this grey which is new in at Topshop but it wasn't in the usual place you'd find bodysuits so I was very pleased to find it and order it. The only problem I have with wearing this bodysuit is the back is quite low so around the house I wouldn't really worry about wearing a bra but when you go out and about I would want to wear a bra so I do need to find something that I can wear. Maybe I was thinking if I put a swimsuit underneath and then put this over the top that might work. But yeah, bodysuits. I wear them all the time. I wear them season round. You can wear them spring, summer, obviously, but then you can also wear them in autumn, winter with cardigans, which will be my next item. But this is a white one from Topshop. It's not my ribbed one. It's just a white plain one. Fun fact, I thought I lost my white ribbed one. So I got this one, then I found my white ribbed one. So I have two bodysuits now, but I wear them so much. I'm actually appreciative of the, of the bodysuit. So yeah love bodysuits they go with jeans shorts joggers those are the kind of things i wear very often so they are a real essential in my wardrobe the next item i wear all the time is this cardigan now this is my beige house of cb cardigan and i got it in a large so they didn't have some medium i'll probably get medium from house of cb in stock so I had to get a large but I'm actually really pleased I did because I absolutely love the fit of it it's such a gorgeous cardigan the price point was a little bit higher than what I may typically pay but actually for an item that I wear all the time and that will last me years and years this is not going to go anywhere for years to come I can see it and I'm going to get so much wear out of it looking back I actually think it's really good value for money the amount of times I've worn it so this cardigan has to be one of my favourite items in my wardrobe. You guys seem to love it as well. I've never had so many questions on a cardigan. So yeah, House of CB, size large, cannot recommend it enough. The only problem is it was low in stock. So if I can find any similar, I will definitely link those below. I also have this grey cardigan which I wear all the time. It's from ASOS and I got it two years ago really love it it went out of stock as soon as i got it so i won't be able to link this exact one but i will link a similar one below again at the same point as the previous cardigan i did pay a little bit more but i've worn it so much and it's still in perfect condition two years on i would buy it again over and over the next piece i wear all the time in my wardrobe is my leather jacket from topshop before i had this i hadn't had a leather jacket in years so um, I wasn't sure on this purchase, but it's actually Jordan that convinced me to get it. And I'm so pleased he did. I got it 18 months ago and I've worn it so, so much. I've definitely got my money's worth. I love wearing leather jackets over dresses in spring, summer. So I probably typically wouldn't wear my leather jacket with this outfit. Maybe I would in autumn, but in spring this time of year, I'd wear it over like a really pretty flowery dress or just a white dress haven't been wearing many dresses at the moment obviously but if i was then i love the way a leather jacket looks over a dress i also love the way a denim jacket looks over a dress but again i haven't been wearing a denim jacket for ages so i haven't included a denim jacket in this video but that'll probably come up in one of my more seasonal favorite videos i could not make this video without featuring the top shop 90s oversized joggers so these are actually my maternity ones 
I'm not really sure what the difference with the maternity ones were because I wear my normal ones all the time. They're actually in the wash at the moment, which is why I haven't got them on. So I've got my maternity ones on, but actually they're not much different at all. So I wear them both and I'm really pleased I got both. I didn't really wear my maternity ones very often in my pregnancy. I just didn't feel like oversized joggers did much for me when I had this huge bump and I had these huge joggers over the top. Didn't look great on me. So yeah, I wear my maternity ones now. Love these joggers so, so much. I wear them year round. I probably wouldn't wear them high summer just because obviously the weather isn't right for them. But I love the fact I've now got the jogger shorts I can wear instead. I also have these joggers in the black colour and the pale pink. I also have a few other colours as well. I wear them all of the time. They are definitely my most worn item in my wardrobe they're just so easy to throw on look great and are really comfortable the next thing i want to show you is jumpers that i wear a lot one of my favorites is this purple one you can guess where it's from <laughs> such a lovely color like a real pastel toned jumper looks really nice with jeans or joggers or even just leggings so usually i wouldn't have the bodysuit on underneath and i just tuck it under my bra so it didn't bulk up there. I also forgot to mention these joggers have play-doh on from the children but yes yeah, so I would tuck this jumper up if I was wearing leggings I wouldn't so I wouldn't wear it like this just because it all looks a bit a bit too much but I can't tuck it under because I have a bodysuit on but it would look something like that so you can never have enough Jumpers in my wardrobe, this is just one I picked out as one I wear quite a lot. I also picked out this grey hoodie, I have it in grey and black, again one of my top shop finds. Such a basic essential item that is so easy to throw on, obviously not this time of year, but with leggings, with joggers, with anything in autumn, winter, definitely one of my go-to items in my wardrobe. Although I haven't been wearing this jumper very often recently, because of the weather change this is definitely one of my most worn items in my wardrobe it is this roll neck jumper which is from Primark so I got this I can't even remember how long ago I want to say roughly around two years ago but I can't remember exactly but definitely around that kind of time length and it has lasted so so well I think it must have cost me around eight pounds and I have worn it so much. It lasts me season after season. So if it was a more cooler spring day, I would wear this with my joggers or with my jogger shorts. That'd be a really, really lovely outfit. It'd also go lovely with my denim shorts. So I would definitely still wear this in the early stages of spring and then I'll start wearing it in autumn again. But yeah, really love this jumper. I haven't seen it in Primark since I bought it. They do have similar ones, but I have seen a couple online which are like this. So I will link some similar if I can find them below. So now would usually be the time where I'm wearing my really cute spring floral dresses. I'm not wearing them at all at the moment, but I did pick up this one from Topshop and I wanted to show you it just because it's true my style and I will be wearing it loads. I don't have any that I wore from last year because I was pregnant and, and my body shape has changed once again so they don't look great on me this year so I do need to buy some more spring and summer dresses. So this is one of my first spring summer dress purchases and I know I'm gonna be wearing it so much because it is so, so nice. And not only is it like a really cute print and a really nice, fit around the bust i love the frill detail on the arm you can wear a bra under it great it also fits really nice and i find it really really flattering the material is also really lovely and loose so you won't get too hot in it just a really lovely all-rounder dress that as soon as i saw it i fell in love with i'm going to show you some i'm going to show you some of my favorite shoes now so converse converse are just an all-time classic i have them in white and black and I get a lot of wear out of them not so much at the moment obviously because I'm just not leaving the house but when I did leave the house I wore these a lot probably my most worn shoe last season was the Dr Martin's Jaden boots love them so so much like my favorite pair of boots I've ever ever bought they're gonna last me for years because the quality is so amazing so yeah they are a higher price point but they will last you 
for so long and I absolutely love the way they look. I would also wear them now in spring. They would look great with this summer dress um, and my leather jacket, give a real kind of different vibe, but of course I'm not going anywhere, so there's kind of no point dressing up to that extent at the moment. But when we can and when we can go out again, that's definitely a look I'll be throwing together. A newer purchase for me are these Calvin Klein white chunky trainers. I really, really wanted a pair of decent white chunky trainers and these tick all of the boxes for me. They look great with jeans, with shorts. I had them on earlier with my jogger shorts and I have I had some Calvin Klein socks on as well. I really like the way that socks and these trainers look. So I'll be wearing these a lot more at the moment, not wearing them so much, again, like everything. But as soon as we can, I will be getting my wear out of these. So I then wanted to show you these sandals that I've got. These are new from Topshop. Haven't managed to wear them yet, but when I put them on my story, I had so many questions about them. So I thought I'd show them in this video, just because, oh, I've got a price tag on them as well. They were 32 pounds, but I'm sure I got them because Topshop do have an ongoing sale on at the moment at the time of me filming this video. I thought they'd look really nice with this summer dress. I also got these sandals, which I wanted to show you. Again, from Topshop, haven't worn them yet. But I thought they were so nice and such a statement piece for this season. When I can, I'm definitely gonna be getting my wear out of them. When that is, I'm not sure. But I thought these looked nice just with denim shorts and a plain t-shirt because the shoe is a statement here. They'd also look nice with um, summer dresses like this, but couldn't resist when I saw these. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to go and check out Emily's video. I personally can't wait to watch and see what's in her top 10 in her wardrobe. As mentioned, I'll leave the link to her channel in the description box. I'll see you guys soon.